Well, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's trading session, the uh, 18th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's see exactly where the market stands at present. You have the uh, US market certainly uh, being absolutely uh, butchered overnight on the back of uh, number one, obviously, Trump's uh, racist. Uh, rhetoric his bigoted views certainly seems to uh, have uh, hurt the markets and given the fact that uh, his own party now is deserting him the uh, infrastructure council certainly has been deserted the um well certainly disbanded by him uh, prior to it being deserted it was going to be deserted his his so-called business policy meetings so so um, basically everything that he's attempted to do has failed okay he has uh, the racism issue with regards to charlottesville and the and the so-called confederate statues and so on and so forth it certainly seems like it's an absolute mess right now he's losing support he's losing credibility his so-called fiscal stimulus certainly is, is nowhere to be seen and therefore obviously u.s markets are selling off quite substantially uh, and that obviously has a knock-on effect in the european session as well to a large extent although the european markets from the dax CAC certainly are shaking it off now the FTSE really is uh, probably the weakest link out the lot at present okay in terms of economic data today from the european session certainly two we've had two pieces of weak data we've had current account uh, certainly coming in weaker as well we've had construction data certainly coming in on the weaker side although um, and having said that ppi data from germany certainly coming on the slightly stronger side we are now looking forward to uh, mr kaplan speaking uh, we've got consumer sentiment uh, bank of canada cpi uh, that certainly will be a market mover in terms of USD card uh, rig count, and that really is it for the day. Uh, again, a lot of it will be uh, upon what Trump and his uh, so-called cronies have to say with regards to his racist rhetoric. So again, that certainly is risk negative. <clears throat> okay, so let's see where the market stands now. Start off with the German DAX. German DAX 60-minute chart. I did indicate that we are looking to potentially bounce here off this horizontal support here. We certainly have thus far. And we are now looking to potentially pop, okay, looking to pop on the German DAX. Daily chart has an inverted head and shoulders formation, looking to potentially close the gap at 12,770 on the German DAX. So again, bear that in mind, keep that in focus, okay. 60-minute chart, again, you have support. 10-minute chart at present, you have the potential gap above. Previous support equals resistance, so again, this will act as resistance for now. In terms of the French CAC, let's just bring this up for you. you have horizontal support, seem to be bouncing off there. Bear in mind, we still have an unfilled gap below at 3060, then you have the gap above at 351. Sorry, 5060 and then 5145. That's watch out for those two zones. 10 minute chart on the uh, the actual uh, French CAC here. Please resistance equals support, looking to potentially close the gap above. So let's keep an eye on that. In terms of the uh, Euro stocks, let's just move on to the Euro stocks now. Okay, again, Euro stocks certainly building a base on the 10 minute chart. Previous resistance equals support. You're looking at potential double bottom here. Okay, so again, looking to potentially pop on the euro stocks as well. Get supported by the weaker euro, Dovish Draghi. Those two factors coming into play. Again, obviously, terrorist concerns in Spain certainly are having a, an influence, but uh, historically, terrorism certainly hasn't had the uh, desired effect in terms of stemming the actual rally in the equity market. Okay, so again, we continue and terrorism concerns certainly get ignored, okay? In terms of the FTSE 100, at the moment, we are the weakest link. We certainly have closed the gap below at 7310, okay? So again, gap closed at 7310. You have horizontal support here at 7300, okay? So looking for a potential a short squeeze in the FTSE 100 here. Even with the weaker sterling, I'm very surprised the FTSE has failed to bounce. Okay, so again, looking at gunfill gap below at 7390, and that will be your potential target on the upside, especially with the German DAX, French CAC, all certainly potentially bottoming out. Also, with regards to NASDAQ as well, certainly potentially bottoming out, and therefore you are looking for the FTSE 100 certainly to thrust and move higher. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really, of uh, the European markets. The FTSE daily chart certainly sums it up. We certainly are into support, and we are now looking to potentially bounce, okay? On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.